Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the February 2024 reading for the zodiac sign of Leo. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages I receive, as well as meaning of the tarot cards. I do, however, recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. So let's go ahead and get into it here. Column number one, we're going to take a look at anything big coming for February. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fourth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and healing note for you, Leo. But back to column number one, big items coming for February. So we have the summary affirmation card of repetition to start with. This card's pretty literal, and it goes one way or the other here, Leo. It's either there's like a new habit that we need to create, and some new repetition that we need, or the repetition is not doing us good. So maybe we've fallen into a bad habit, or um, have been doing something more frequently than really is benefiting us. So again, kind of one way or another with that type of card, we either need more repetition or there's some repetition we need to take it easy on. But let's see what we've got going on here and see what other messages I can give you. So first up we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is typically a not very good relationship. Um, I feel like there could be conflict with somebody. I feel like maybe we've gotten into the habit of like having this kind of conflict, having this kind of fight. Maybe there's something that we keep fighting about or disagreeing about. So in this case, I feel like we need to find a way to put an end to this cycle. This is repetition we don't want here, Leo. Um, but again, I feel like there's like a reoccurring conflict. That's what I'm feeling in, in the, the highest sense. The next card that we have is the Three of Cups. There's definitely a lot of love here. This is a relationship that we care about. Um, I feel like there could be a circle of support, so there could be some outside influences that could help navigate this, this conflict, but I do think this is something that we can successfully move past. Like the Three of Cups can be a celebration card, a success card. Um, this is also friends or family, uh, so that potentially is who this conflict is with. But again, I'm getting the feeling that we can successfully move past this. So we need to figure out what this reoccurring disagreement or argument or conflict is and figure out how we can move past it. At the bottom, we have the strength card. The strength card is actually really a love card. So again, there's a lot of love between you and this person. This is also self-love, self-respect, unconditional love. Um, I'm hearing, though, that like you need to initiate resolving this like and there's like some courage which like leads me to think there's action that you would need to take so I would encourage you to initiate trying to resolve this if we can but again there's a lot of love between you and this person but it's also like not good for you the, the self-love is not there the self-respect is not there when we continue to hash this out over and over and over and over again so how do we put an end here to this Taking a look at our clarifiers, first up we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very confident, very self-assured. I feel like you know the answer. It's probably not the answer you wanted me to give you, right, Leo? But I feel like you know what needs to happen here. I feel like you know what needs to be done to break the cycle. So I like this because I didn't necessarily see a clear solution here, but you seem to be well aware of what we need to do to put an end to this reoccurring conflict or reoccurring issue. The next card that we have is the Two of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like we do need to prioritize this. We need to make it a priority to resolve this. I feel like there's a lot going on. Sometimes we just ride the waves, but again, I feel like this is something that we can make a priority. Um, I feel like we could also be weighing options on what the solution is. Maybe there's not just one answer here. There's um, a couple different paths, I think, that could resolve this repetition. At the bottom, we have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of stress, exhaustion, burdens. 
I feel like this is wearing on you slowly but surely though. We're starting to carry it like a burden and that's not good. We don't like those kind of things that drain our energy. We're getting tired of the constant conflict or the reoccurring conflict. So it is again coming through as a burden and some baggage that we're carrying now. We're definitely tired of it. It's causing undue stress. So uh, I think we're going to resolve again. There's a lot of love here. It seems like you know what you need to do. There's multiple options of what need to be done, but focus on putting an end to this reoccurring, this repetition of conflict. All right, next column, we're gonna talk about anything related to money. So quick money message here for you. It says, I created blank this month. I created blank amount of money this month. So it's an affirmation you can use for, for yourself there. Um, but in this call, we're going to talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, whatever you associate with money here, Leo. First and foremost, we have the death card. I always like to mention, in case people don't know, the death card does not actually mean death. But it does seem like something's ending, we're moving on, we're transforming. So uh, I feel like for most of you, this is job related. I think we are gonna leave our job, we're moving on to something new. It's time, it's time to let this die and move on to something else. We take a look at our next card. We have the Four of Swords. This is needing to rest, retreat, renew, recover. Um, again, we're just tired. We're ready for something new. We're burnt out with what we're doing. So that's that tired energy that's coming through. I feel like the recovery piece of this is moving on to something new here. That's how we renew our energy is with something new. At the bottom, we have the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is making a decision. It's making the decision to go after this new job, to leave the job we're at. One thing with the Two of Swords too, this is a strong card of compromise. So I feel like some way, shape or form, what you're feeling here is also like compromise and we're tired of the compromise. So again, that's that driving force behind the shift here. Let's take a look at our clarifiers, see what other insight I can give you here. First up, we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is about leaving a legacy. We are not living out our legacy here. Um, again, we're moving on to something new. We're carrying on the legacy somewhere new, it would seem. The Ten of Pentacles can also be lump sum of money, inheritance, so some big money there. I do think there's a pretty good pay bump in this new opportunity as well. So potentially some money motivators as well with the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you could also be retiring too. Congratulations if you are. Maybe we're not moving on to a new job, we're uh, transforming to uh, retirement. So maybe we're moving on from the working world altogether. The next card we have is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is very intentional, very strategic. This kind of echoes what we just talked about the Ten of Pentacles, leaving that legacy. Long term, it's time to move on, it's time to move on to something new. Um, it's the only way to, I think, kind of bring the spirit back up too. Sometimes you've ever just left a job and you've been so over it. The only option is a new job. I feel like that's kind of where you're at. At the bottom, we have the moon card. This is a card of voluntary change. So again, we're making the decision to make this move. So this is a voluntary change. This is something we're looking for. I will say the moon card can be like kind of curve in the road. So this could be, this new job could be something that's really new to you. Maybe something you don't have a lot of past experience with. It's like it could be pretty different than the work you're doing currently. Alrighty, moving on, our next column, anything related to love. So a quick love message to start us off. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So in this column, we're gonna talk about anything related to love, family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you associate with love. Um, I like the looks of this just first glance here, but let's see what messages we've got. First up, we have the Empress. The Empress is a card of abundance, so I feel like February could be a very loveful month. The abundance of love for you, so I like to see that. This is also a card of creation, so if you're hoping to grow your family, if you want a new relationship, if you want to expand your relationship, there's a lot of potential for creation, a lot of potential for growth. The Empress is also a fertility and pregnancy card. So again, if you're trying to grow your family, that's a good look for you. That's a good card for you. 
Up next, we have Temperance. Temperance is a card of balance and harmony. Something feels a little out of whack, like maybe work-life balance has been out of whack. Maybe your partner's been out of town. Your kids have been with your ex-partner or something. Something's been out of whack, but there's a nice balance, some harmony coming into play. For a lot of you, I feel like this is like you've been busy and just haven't had a lot of time for love. So again, finding that nice calm, that nice balance. At the bottom, we have the Six of Cups. I do think there's a potential for a reunion here for some of you. Maybe getting reconnected with somebody you've previously known. The Six of Cups is very much so a reunion card. Um, this is also a gift, though, so I feel like we could be receiving a gift. Again, if you want to grow your family, that definitely could be the gift for you. Um, or the gift of new love, new relationship. I don't know. All around this just feels good. There's a lot of potential, a lot of past, a lot of opportunities here in terms of love for you. Looking at our clarifiers, first up, we have the devil card. The devil card's a card of overdoing things. This is greed, envy, materialism, obsession. It's interesting. This is an odd way to say the message, but again, there just really is this abundance of love. There is a lot of love here in February. The next card we have is the Emperor. The Emperor is very uh, long term. It's here to stay. Um, I like this. I feel like this new calm, this new balance, again, is here to stay. It'll stick around for some time for you here, Leo, which is always good. The Emperor is also a good parenting card. So again, fertility, growing family. There's nice strong cards there for you if that's what you're hoping for. At the bottom, we have the Justice card. The Justice card is cause and effect. If you want this reunion to work, I feel like we can put the effort in and we will reap the benefits of it. Um, but that goes for anything. So it's like where we put our energy this month, we definitely will see the results of. So cause and effect type energy in terms of love. This is also favorable for you. So I like to see that favorable outcomes for you, Leo, in terms of love. Um, also, if there's like legal matters, contracts, things of the court happening, those are favorable outcomes for you as well. Alrighty, now let's take a look at our fourth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. This is almost like advice to take into February. So we have a summary affirmation card of heat. <laughs> this is pretty literal. I'm sorry, I just laughed. Have you ever played like beer pong and you're like heating up on fire? That's pretty much what this is. I feel like things are moving, things are heating up. Um, so things are heating up for you means that things are moving and moving in your favor, which I like to see. But let's take a look, see what messages we've got going on here for you, outside of a, a beer pong reference, of course. But, huh, this feels kind of love energy, but let's see where it takes us. First up, we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles, this is something we've been waiting for. Um, so I feel like there's some waiting here, but again, we have the heating up card, which thing means things are moving. So there was maybe once some waiting and now things are starting to move for you. I think there was something we were trying to get over. Like this is grieving. This is feeling unloved, feeling abandoned. Um, so I feel like we were grieving, we were healing, we were processing for some, from something and that's where that weight came into play. But now there's new opportunity. I feel like we've healed and the doors are open again. We have the Knight of Cups, which is like Prince or Princess Charming, right? Knight in Shining Armor, very romantic, very proposal-like. So again, I feel like the doors are open. And for those of you that are like, yeah, that love meaning doesn't really resonate, there could be something else that we've healed from and now proposal is in terms of opportunity. And again, those kind of doors of opportunity being open for you. Taking a look at our clarifiers. First up, we have the Nine of Swords. There was definitely some healing, some recovery, some worry that was happening here. That was all those things that were happening while we were waiting. We have the Seven of Swords next. This is like picking up our stuff, being ready to move forward, being ready to move on. And that makes sense now that we've gone through this healing, now that we've had this time to process, that can happen. And as we enter into this new love or this new opportunity, it's important with the High Priestess here uh, to really trust your gut, trust your intuition to guide you through. There's a lot of good and bad past experiences, but those shape how we handle everything going forward. All right, now let's take a look at our Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling deck, which is uh, an opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. 
If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video here and think of them. But question number one, we have the nine of spades, number 41 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two, we have the queen of hearts, number 23 card. That's also a yes. Question number three, we have the five of spades, number six card. That one's a no. So yes, yes, no there for you. We're going to pull a card from our Healing Stones deck, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of February. You have Citrine, which is good for new lease on life, self-worth, lots of joy, courage to follow new paths. Also a very, very good money crystal. I'm a big, big Citrine fan. Last but not least, we're going to pull a Healing Note for you. Your Healing Note says, One small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. Thank you so much, Leo, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Leo, and have a great February.